Hey guys, it's your boy Jehuti, and let's continue with the Season 4 changes, Fakum Rama up next. And um, what I need to say before we start is that there are a couple of moves um, which all share the same last hit. So you'll be able to see them at the top, um, which moves they're displayed, but I'm just going to group them because the fo focus is always on one particular hit in the string. So then, without further ado, let's get into it. He has two new moves. The first new move is... 3, 1, 2, and it's a string that does um, 43 damage, it's plus 8 on hit, and if it's blocked it's neutral, however it is a mid-high high option and that means that the move is duckable, it does not jail, so you should keep that in mind whilst utilizing it. Let's go on to his other new move, and that's um, up forward 2, plus 10 on hit, and it's also minus on block. Also keep in mind that there's a high move so it can be ducked. And then now let's get into like the proper changes. Maybe his biggest one is the first one I'm coming to mention and that is to his back dash. So back back the movement. Um, his movement, his back dash has been nerfed. Let's come out and just say it. Some people will be happy about that, some people won't be happy about that. You can see that here even with my Korean backdash, he just doesn't cover as much distance as he used to. Sorry, my Korean backdash isn't that great. Um, but now let's continue in the changes, and that is 1-2-1. One, one. And what happened here is that um, he used to have a frame advantage upon hit which was plus 7, and it's now just plus 3, so that's the third hit in particular. Then um, what's also happened is that they've changed it on block, it used to be minus 6, so safe. And now the third hit is minus 10 frames, so it, it is punishable now, and that's another nerf for Fakum Ram. Now we're going to come into the first series of like changes for multiple moves. So the focus on this is just the last hit, the knee. And what's happened here is that they've changed the behavior when the move lands as a regular hit or a counter hit. So all the moves you're seeing at the top. Um, with the, which end with the knee, what you need to know about it, it is that they used to wall splat and also give a, grant a knockdown on counter hit and that's all been removed now, they don't have those properties anymore so definitely a nerf for Bakum Ram. Next up we have 3-1 down 4 and particularly the last hit and what's happened with the last hit is that it used to do 18 damage now it's been nerfed to 15 um, furthermore, we have another series of moves, so just look up and have a look at all of them. And they all end with this kick which uh, guard breaks on charge, but this is not the charge version, it's just the regular one. So what's happened here across the board is, change the opponent's behavior when the move lands as a regular hit or a counter hit. On a normal hit, it used to give a knockdown, On at the wall it used to give a wall splat and on counter hit it would have given a full combo in season 3 and now all of those properties have been removed and he just gets the knockdown on counter hit and that's a very 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 good match for Fakum Ram right there next up we have forward 3 not the full string, string that's the forward 3 what's happened here is upon hit it used to do it used to be plus 7 frames and now it's been nerfed to plus 4 frames on hit and they've also changed it on block. On block it used to be minus 4 and now it's minus 7. So it's still safe but not as safe as it used to be, so a nerf. And then we have forward 1 plus 2, his um, ball bound move. And they've uh, nerfed the damage, it used to do 26 and now just does 21 damage. Now we have um, down forward 1, 2 and there are two changes here. So the first hit in particular they've changed the frame advantage upon hit. It used to be plus 8 frames on hit and now it's plus 6 frames and they've also um, changed the second hit so they've changed the behavior when the move lands as a counter hit. Don't take my word for it but I believe it used to grant a knockdown on counter hit and now obviously it doesn't give a knockdown anymore. Now next up are um, two moves, the down forward one quickly for one and um, that's this elbow in particular, and also the variation of forward forward, and then quickly inputting 4 and 1. The elbow in particular has been nerfed um, in terms of block. It used to be plus 0 on frames on block, and now it's minus 3. So that's another nerf for Fakumram. 
Now we're also coming into another series of three moves, so you should just look at them at the top. Um, they're the ones which end with the Hell Sweep, all the versions with the Hell Sweep. And it's the last hit of the Hell Sweep, the like Rising Uppercut in particular, which has been nerfed. And what's happened here is that it used to do 25 damage and now it just does 23 damage. So that's another nerf for Fakumram. A lot of those going on here. Now um, we have down 3. And down 3 has just received... Um, like kind of bug fix, adjusted the motion since the opponent's low attack did not hit in specific situations. So it was one of those things where um, Fakum Ram used to have like um, low moves go through his legs whilst he executes certain moves. So this is more like a bug fix, and also partially as a nerf. Then we have down 1 plus 4. What's happened here is that they've changed the behavior of the opponent on hit. It used to knock down, now it doesn't knock down anymore. So that's another nerf for Fakumram. Um, we have, next up we have back 2. And what's happened here is they've changed the frame advantage on hit. It used to be minus 4, and now it's minus 6. So that's a little nerf for Fakumram once again. Then we have back 3. And um, what's happened with this move changed the opponent's behavior when the move lands as a counter hit. And what used to happen with this move is that it used to um, screw automatically and they have gotten rid of those screw properties on counter hit. Yeah, another nerf. Now we have back 4-3. So two things have changed. Advantage on hit. It used to be plus two frames on hit. Um, so the second hit in particular. Now it's just plus one frames. And then we have... Um, its properties on block. It used to be safe at minus 9 on block, but it's now um, punishable at minus 10 frames. So another nerf for Fakumram. Up forward one, which is like his orbital, has got like somewhat of a buff, but it's more like bug fixes. Fix an issue in which the opponent's low attack hit before the move started. And what happens here is that, you know, it is a low crushing move, so low attacks shouldn't actually hit it. So that's like a small buff, more like a bug fix. Now we have um, up forward 3 and what's happened here is that they've increased the lower range of the attack so it should hit more consistently. Um, sm small buff for Fakumram there. And then we have while rising 1 and what used to happen is that on hit it used to give a frame advantage of plus 7 and now it just has a frame advantage on, of plus 4 on hit. And the last move we have in the lineup here is Ring Sidestep, Ring Sidestep 4. And what's happened here is they've increased both characters' recovery time when the move is blocked by 2 frames, making the pace slower. I don't think it makes the pace slower, I think it actually makes the pace of everything faster. But um, yeah, w w what that means is that it's just a change, both characters just recover 2 frames quicker on block. So that setup for Fakumram, he's received massive nerfs especially to his backdash game and to his counter hit game um, it's really going to affect him but i personally think he's still going to destroy people on um, beginner and intermediate level uh, i'm an intermediate player myself so i'm going to get destroyed as well <laughs> and then um, yeah please um, stick around more content is definitely coming and you you know what to do um, subscribe leave a comment leave a like and this is your boy Jahuti, and i'm out